What is up, my loves? It's your girl, Matthews here, and I am back at it again with another video. Welcome back to my channel or to my Instagram, depending on where you are watching. In today's video, we are talking about the thing that is stopping you from this next segment of your life. It's the very last thing, okay? You've already done the mindset shift work. You've already done the personal growth. You already cleaned up the inner children. You're right there um, on the precipice of it. Is precipice the word that I want to use? I'm not sure. Um, so you're right there getting ready to step into this next level, but there's something there. You're like, I really don't know what it is. I have the answer for you. The answer is you're afraid. And it's not that same fear that was coming up before. The fear that was coming up before was, can I do this? Can I handle this? Am I capable? Can I take on the responsibility of... Um, paying my own rent in my own apartment? Can I take on the responsibility of paying the utilities? Do I have the financial resiliency to handle this, right? That was the fear. The fear was, can I take on more work? The fear was, can I really allow myself to receive more money for less work, right? So you've already done that stuff. You already have those shifts. This video is for those of you who it's like, I should be in the next level, but I'm really not there yet. I don't know what it is. You're afraid. Because this next segment of your life, this next level that you are stepping into is a completely different experience that you've never had before. The life that you were living is no longer resonating with you, right? It's lots and lots of conflict. I've been experiencing a lot of this inner conflict, okay? One has been assigned to do more meditation, need to spend more time alone, spend more time connecting with source, connect with my inner being and my spirit guides. Um, so that could be a message for you as well. If you're feeling like, where is this conflict coming from? It's almost like there's conflict where there doesn't need to be any conflict. It's like you're, um, for example, I have been kind of sort of attracting conflict from people who are completely relevant to me and my life who I don't don't actually care about the conflict and it kind of came down to that energy of you're still kind of telling yourself the story that you have to have conflict um, in your life there has to be some problem in your life you are approaching that aspect of your life you are right I think precipice is the word that I want to use you're right on the precipice of this new segment of life this new experience the new segment of life that you're stepping into is life without worry it's life without stress it's life without problems it's life without drama and that's something that you've never experienced before. In this next segment of life, you are paying your rent easily. You are attracting money easily. You are easily receiving your desires. You are stepping into the segment of your life where you've been on the journey of allowing it to get easier and easier and easier and easier. And now you're here, your easy life is here. And this isn't to say that you won't have um, challenges, that you won't have to learn things in this new segment of life. That's always going to be a part of this. That's always gonna be a part of the journey of the journeys, right? That's just your life. But those challenges look a lot different. Challenges look a lot different when you believe in your um, capability to handle them. Challenges don't look like, oh my God, I'm freezing. I'm not going to do anything. And I'm just going to hope that it goes away until the problem is something that I just can't ignore anymore. Problems no longer look like that for you when you know that you are capable of handling anything. Problems now are looking like, oh, I've got this thing that I need to take care of. Okay, I'm going to schedule that in or I'm going to make the phone calls that I need to make now. And so now you're stepping into a whole new segment of life where you're the person who solves their problems. You're the person who allows in resolution to all of their problems and so you're walking away from the segment of life where problems are just ongoing where problems are just kind of dragging on there's a little bit of fear there right because well I'm already so used to the problems here I'm already so used to navigating through life where people are talking about me and people are hating on me and etc cetera, etc cetera. I'm already used to this I don't know what the problems like that look like and what if I can't do it there's a little bit of fear there of what if I can't do it but you've really already cleaned up a majority of that in this video our focus is on the fact that you're afraid because you have no idea what the fuck is over there I know that I'm ready for the easier life. I know that I'm ready to easily receive my desires. I'm so in the receptive mode right now. Every single thing that I want, the things that I've been asking for for years, they are showing up in my physical reality. I am on fire right now. And that scares me because I know that the next step, I was sitting in my bath. I was taking a bubble bath. I was sitting in it. 
and I just got a little bath thing to put on top of the bath you know so you can have like your laptop your iPad you know your tarot cards on the bath without being submerged in water you know what I mean can't think of the name hold on there we go um so I'm sitting in the bath and I had like my candle going and everything was awesome and amazing and the universe is just like you know what's next and I was like I do know what's next and they're like what's next is this experience but in your own home this experience but in the bathroom of your own home of your own apartment that's your next step that's where you're headed and I was like, oh my God, yes, I know that that's what's coming next. And there's a little bit of fear there because what will I do there? What will that experience be? And so really in this video, your message is that it's time for you to switch um, from, that, from that fear and that anxiety into eager anticipation. You just don't know that you're going to have fun and a good time over there. Fun and a good time looks a lot different. Fun and a good time looks like having more enjoyment of life. What does life look like when I'm not struggling? What does life look like when I don't have problems and issues in my relationships? What does life look like when the, the hardest thing about my day is the fact that um, my new, um, uh, you know, virtual assistant hasn't posted my video yet? And I know that she's going to post it at some point. So that's not even a real problem. It's something that I was temporarily worried about. All I had to do was take a couple deep breaths and trust the universe and trust this, this person who I obviously trust enough to agree to allow them to do this work for me. My biggest problems are me having to remind myself that I am now the woman who allows herself to receive support in her business. I am now the woman who has a team. I technically have no employees. I technically have about two employees right now. I am now the woman who has a team who is helping her to bring her visions to life so she can focus on doing the work that she loves without the extra putting in the energy and effort to creating the thumbnails and copying and pasting all over the different platforms. I'm transitioning into an easier life I am no longer focusing on, oh my God, and can you believe that he said this to me and he did this to me and blah, blah, blah. I'm no longer doing that. So what this means is, okay, this life, that previous life of complaining, that previous life of talking about people behind their back, that's done. That's no longer feeling good for me. I hate hearing people complain. I hate hearing people complain now which I used to be a total chronic complainer and, you know, judgmental person, hearing people complain to me is exhausting. Because what are you doing so that you don't have to complain like this anymore? What are you doing so that you can enjoy your life? What are you doing about everything that you're complaining about? Nothing? You just complain? You just hate your life? People who hate their life and people who do nothing but complain, we're really not a vibrational match anymore. Why? Because I am persistently, consciously on the journey to having a life that I enjoy. And now I'm here. I'm here where I am enjoying my life. And that's where you are. If this, video, if this video is resonating with you, that's where you are. You're at the point where, oh shit, it's time for me to start enjoying my life. It's time for me to start enjoying my life. What does enjoying my life look like? It looks like I wake up in the morning, I have my coffee, I listen to my music, I connect with spirit, I get the downloads for the day. What am I talking about? What is our plan for the day? Or maybe I already have that plan from a couple other days. What projects am I working on? Talking about the projects that I want in the future, talking about the purchases I want to make in the future. That's what life looks like for me. I recognize I want more people, okay? You want more people around you who are celebrating their life, who are enjoying their life. I need more friends like Manifestation Babe who are celebrating buying the new G-Wagons, who are celebrating buying the new cars, who are buying the bags that they want, who are buying the jewelry that they want because that's that's my people. That's, that's what I'm moving towards. 
So I recognize it's okay that I'm afraid. It's okay that I'm scared. We got the root chakra lom chants playing. If you're not into it, get into it. Just because you were listening to the root chakra lom chants previously during other steps of your growth doesn't mean that you have to throw it away when you get to your next step. Every single time that that fear is coming up, every single time that that anxiety is coming up, you know that root chakra lom chants will be um, a tool that you can use to help soothe yourself and release that fear. So now it's, okay, I want to connect with more people who are enjoying their life, more people who are enjoying their life, more people who love their work, more people who love the jobs that they do and who also love to go out and have fun, people who go out and, and you know, have dinner. I want friends that I can connect with and talk about all of the projects and things that they are working on and how everything is just going amazing for them and how they're always getting all of their desires. That's who I want to hang out with. That's who I want to connect with. That's what I'm moving towards. What does life look like for me in this next level? And then you get to sit and you get to brainstorm all of the things that you didn't allow yourself to receive, enjoy, experience in the past. Now, in this next segment that I am moving into travel, my expectations for travel have expanded. My expectations for travel look like planes or renting comfortable cars, look like nicer hotels, look like nicer hotel rooms. It looks like getting massages at the hotels that I go to when I stay because it's a really, really big desire that I've had for the longest time. It looks like having standing appointments at spas because I want that experience. I'm somebody who has such a hard time in the past relaxing. Oh, love massages. Mwah. Greatest experience of my life. So that's something that I now will allow myself with the money that I'm allowing in. I will allow myself to have those standing appointments. Um, when I move, I want to allow myself to have dinner. Imagine this, you work for the day, you see a couple clients, you record a couple videos, and then you allow yourself to go out to a nice restaurant with friends. You allow yourself to go out to have drinks with friends. You allow yourself to go out to a restaurant to have drinks by yourself, whatever. And you're just enjoying life. You allow yourself to go shopping for whatever you want. I love shopping sprees. They're one of my favorite ways to pass the time. It's no longer about trying to fill a void. I just like nice shit. And I want to have a glasses collection. That's what the next segment of life looks like for me. Building and expanding my glasses collection so that I can wake up in a different day feeling a different mood allowing in more clothes, allowing in more accessories so that I can constantly express myself better, creatively express myself more than I've ever allowed myself to do so in my life. This next segment of life, when we're done with the conflict, when the struggle is no longer serving us, you just get into the, the segment of life where life feels good. And it's not that you don't have problems. It's not that things don't come up. It's that you believe in your capability to handle it. And so when shit comes up, you handle it and then you move on. There, we're no longer harping on the past. We're no longer harping on, on, on previous experiences. We're no longer harping on betrayals. We're no longer harping on the bad feeling stuff. We're no longer afraid of the bad feeling stuff happening again because we believe in our capacity to handle it. This is what it means to enjoy your life. You are now recognizing, holy shit, I'm ready to enjoy my life. I'm stepping into the segment of my life where I just get to enjoy my life. When I get my apartment, when I get the car, I get to just enjoy my life. I get to go to the wineries that I want. I get to go and get my paddleboard and do the paddleboarding that I really want to. I get to go and take pole dancing classes. I get to go and take other dancing classes. I love dance. I would enjoy my life so much if I could dance again. Oh my god, amazing. And I'll be able to take multiple dance classes. Oh my god, dancing is so expensive. Enjoying my life, allowing in the money so that my business now supports my personal life in this way. I get to have fun. I get to buy more wigs. I get to get my sewing machine. I get to create costumes. Y'all are going to be getting so much fucking creative content from me. You didn't know that I was an actress? No, you had to have known. You had to have known. <laughs> you didn't know that I was a creator? You didn't know that I was an entertainer? The world is about to find out. That's what this next segment of life looks like for me. It looks like more fun, creative projects, creative outlets. It looks like having more money to be able to give back to my communities. It looks like stepping further into my own desires. 
That's what you're recognizing. Start writing down that list. What are you expecting to experience in this next segment of life now that life is easier for you? If you want help with this, come work with me. Links to do so are either in the bio under coaching or in the description under a link talking about coaching. Get on a clarity call with me and Spirit. It's free. We'll get you some clarity. We'll talk about all the shifts that you need in order to get to your goal and how I can help you in my current program. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. If this resonated with you, don't hesitate to comment or maybe DM me or email me and let me know because I always love your feedback. I love y'all so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.